Having a staging website allows you to create design changes, add pages, add or test functionality with new plugins, and then only after the testing and or client sign-offs, push those changes to your live website. This is crucial for the best user experience. Imagine making some design changes, some code changes, or adding a new plugin to your website and in the process taking down your online store or the entire website. Aloha everybody, welcome back to the channel where my goal is to help you make better WordPress websites for your community, yourself, and your clients. Staging websites used to be a complicated endeavor of copying databases and files and folders and transferring them from your live website to your staging website and back and forth manually. Then plugins came into play like Backup Buddy, which I used to love and still use on some of my websites. And now software companies like ManageWP have come around to help you manage your WordPress websites. Not only manage them, but create staging websites in a click of a button. And now you could create staging websites for your clients, yourself, and your other projects that you have going on with just a few simple clicks. Let me show you how I make staging websites a breeze today with Manage WP. Don't forget to show some aloha to that subscribe button for more content like this, and let's get started. So today I use a tool called Manage WP, and this is just basically a WordPress manager to help you manage multiple websites at once. It is owned by GoDaddy. If you have a website on GoDaddy, you'll find very similar service through their GoDaddy dashboard. Let's just go over the pricing. This is not gonna be an in-depth tutorial on Manage WordPress. I'm gonna create another one on that. This is a great software because it's a very low cost. You can start from free and you get all these great things you could do like manage your updates and plugins. Then what I prefer to do is I do pay for it per website or bundles depending on my clients and do add-ons like backups. You could do white label so you could provide services to your clients and have it all under your branding. And the main thing I like about this is the backups and it's the backups that allow you to create staging websites on Manage WordPress. So go ahead and sign up for it. I'll have a link down below. It is not an affiliate link, so just go ahead and set yourself up an account, and I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Okay, so this is the back end. This is our dashboard for Manage WP. You will see it's syncing my websites that I have, and you'll and through my tags back here, I have hidden my client websites and the other websites that I manage with this, but you can manage quite a bit of websites here, and it is a great way to keep things up to date. So. You'll see here that I have, for instance, my MauiDGA.org website and I have my staging website. What this does is it allows me to make backups of both websites. So I could take my MauiDGA.org website and push it to here. So then now I have the same website on both. Then also I could come into my staging websites, make any kind of new changes, corrections, and additions to this website. And then when I'm done, I can make a backup and then push that back up to the live website. It's pretty simple. It's a pretty great way to manage staging websites. So I don't have your DiviWebsite.com on here. And so the first thing we need to do is add a new website. And so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna add another website right here. And the first thing you want to do is import your staging website. Let's go ahead and put in our URL and select add website. Okay, and so from there, you need to sign into your, your website that you are entering and or you could use a connection key instead. A connection key is you have to set up a plugin on your website. The, you could look up for the Manage WordPress plugin, install that, and it could give you a connection key to use instead. For now, I'm just gonna sign in with my credentials and press add website. And if your credentials fail, you'll be brought back. And so let's go ahead and use the connection key instead so I can show you how that works. Otherwise, if you just sign in, you should be sent straightforward. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go to our website, our main website, and install the worker plugin, okay? Let's go to our main website here, which is yourdiviwebsite.com, and go to the back end. Go to our plugins and add new. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and search for manage WP. And what we want is the manage WP worker. So let's just go ahead and install this guy, activate it. Great. Let's go ahead and go to our settings for that. And the way you get there is to come down here to your plugins on your plugins page and come into connection management. Okay, and so as it's saying before, you could log in automatically or you could do it manually with the connection key. So if you have troubles doing it this way, go ahead and come over here and copy your connection key and close it. Come back to your work, your manage WP and paste in your connection key and add website. 
and you'll see it's getting started syncing our website and it will say we have successfully added your website.com and so now we can continue to the dashboard we want to go ahead and go to the website dashboard here and you'll see here's our dashboard it has our plugins that we want to update our themes that we have installed and all that great stuff Again, it's not an in-depth tutorial on Manage WP. We just wanna go ahead and get set up with our staging. The first thing we need to do in order to create staging, and this thing, this one takes a little while, is that we want to create a backup of our website. Now, backups are an additional cost. There's free and premium versions of this add-on, which is the same to a lot of add-ons, which is, which is what's really cool about this program is that you can get away with using a lot of things for free. So let's just go ahead and activate backups. And the free one is to, to do monthly backups. And this is great if you, know, you have a simple website and you don't make a lot of changes, but you have to do the premium, which is $2 monthly to allow for daily backups, which is great, on-demand backups, and then most importantly, the clone and migrate websites, okay? For $2 a month, that is a great deal compared to the price I used to pay for plugins to do this and the time it used to take to do things manually. This is a great price. When you're done using these types of features, you could stop paying for it. So this is why it's monthly. Another good thing, you don't have to buy a year license to use these additional add-ons. You could use them and then deactivate it when you're done. So let's just go ahead and activate this one. So it's just going to verify our cost here. And there we go. We're going to, they're going to make offsite backups, which means this does not it's not stored on your hosting platform, it's stored on their systems. And so you could restore it if you need to without ever even having to call your host. So let's close this and we'll say that they're creating our first backup of the website. And when that is done, then we could send it on over to our staging website after we've installed our staging website on here. All right, so let's just go ahead and wait and I'll see you in a couple minutes. Okay, so it's created our backup. So you'll see over here, we have the chance to back it up now. It shows you, it will show you a list of the backups we have created, give you an overview of that backup. You'll see here you have a calendar that will be filled out and we'll show you each time it's been backed up. So you could go to a certain date and you could restore from that backup and you have different options that we'll go through in a different video. So for now, let's go ahead and we want to clone the website. But before we clone the website, we need to create a new domain on manage WP. Let's go ahead and get ready for this by coming over to our staging website and install the plugin. And you already know how to install plugins. So once you've activated it and installed it, you could come down once again, and we're going to use the connection management and we are going to copy the key that it gives us. Close this. And now we want to add another website. Okay. So let's just go ahead and add another website. And this one is going to be called, okay. Staging yourdivvywebsite.com. We're going to add the website here. We are not going to use our login. We're going to use the connection key. We're going to paste it in there and add website. And you can see it's working here. It's going to bring in our website now. Okay. And you'll see, you'll see that it's been successful. So let's just go ahead and go to our WordPress website dashboard and you'll see it's working in bringing in our staging website. Okay. It does take a couple minutes, just like anything else. Give it a few minutes to create the thumbnail and to bring in some data. Let's just go back to our websites here and you'll see now that we have four websites. Okay, this one's still working in the background. So you'll see that we have four websites that we could manage from our Manage WP dashboard, which is really neat. You'll even see here that this one is showing me that I have vulnerable plugins and there's all kinds of great things we could do with this. We could come in here to our dashboard and we could go to our plugins and update our plugins. We could go to our themes and update our themes. So if we go to our Divi website here, Let's just go ahead and give this all nice, clean updates before we transfer it over. And you'll see it's updated our plugins and our themes could get updated as well. This is always a good, good thing to do before you transfer your website over to your staging website is to transfer it all up to date. So we're going to go and update our themes. And while we're waiting for our themes to update, we're just going to go ahead and come over here to our staging website. So nothing, in, the reason why I said nothing in this website, as far as plugins go matters because it's all going to be replaced from our main website here. Okay. So let's just go ahead and close our staging and we're going to go ahead and close our main website as well. Cause we don't need them open. And obviously you can update your plugins and your themes still in your WordPress dashboard. This is just another way to do it. And if you were to update the 
plugins in your WordPress dashboard, it will show up here as after it's done syncing, okay? All right. Okay, so once everything is up to date, I do want to make a quick note that if you have any plugins or themes that require an API key to get the updates, those API keys need to be installed on your WordPress installation to that plugin or theme in order for this to update in the back end. Okay, so the same thing would be the same case would be on your WordPress dashboard. If your API keys weren't in there, you wouldn't be able to get the newest updates. Okay, so now let's copy this this our main website over to our staging website. So we need to come over here to our backups and you'll see that we have a backup here that was done on the first. So that means that this, this was created yesterday, okay? It is now Thursday. What I like to do is back up now before I make a staging because let's say this morning I made a new blog post or yesterday, just yesterday I made some new changes. If this was made at a different time and doesn't have all my new settings, it won't be transferred over. So in most cases, you want to go ahead and make a new backup, okay? And I'm gonna show you how that works. You could do it manually or it's gonna ask you in the process. So we have a backup. Okay, our initial backup here. And let's go ahead and then go over to clone website. And we're gonna be cloning this website now. So now this is gonna, so it's gonna tell you when, what it's using. And it's using the backup that was created on this date at this time. And you can create a new backup for your website and use it for cloning here. So I made some changes and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new backup. And that might make it take just a little bit longer time, but it's okay. You better be safe than sorry and transfer over a fresh backup of your website. And then we could choose our destination. We could choose it to the existing website in Manage WP, same domain on a new server or create a new website. And for simplicity's sake, since we're gonna be staging, since we're gonna be managing all of, most of our websites on Manage WP from here on forward, because it's so cool, we are gonna use an existing website in Manage WP. And all you have to do is select where that is going to go. And you'll see we have my blog right here. So we're gonna select this one. And what we could do is create a new admin we want or the current admin that we have on our main site will be transferred over, okay, to our staging website. So we do not need to create a new admin. This is optional. Our search en engine, we are gonna say disable because we don't need this to be picked up by Google and the search engines. And we are gonna go ahead and clone it. We're gonna confirm that we are about to clone this URL over to this URL. So it's gonna take the whole WordPress website and the database and make a copy of it over to here. So let's do it. Okay, this is gonna take a little while, I'll be back. Okay, so website clone successful. Told you it would be easy, didn't we? All right, so let's just go ahead and check out our new website. I'm gonna open it in a new tab. Hey, if you found this helpful so far, I found that hitting that like button helps my channel grow and helps me know what kind of content you like to see. So hit that like button and let's get back to it. And if you refresh it, you'll see that our main WordPress website was transferred over. If we go to the only page that I have anything on this WordPress website currently is these example forms. And you'll see here they all are. So now if we go to our websites here, sometimes it takes a little while for it to update the thumbnail that it generates from view in your website and that's fine. But now you'll see we have a staging website here that looks exactly the same as our other one. And what we could do from our dashboard is go and uh, go into our WordPress back in, which is what we are gonna do. And it will log you in. And once we are here, you will see that all those plugins that we started off with are, have been replaced to what we have on our main website. It's brought in all our plugins, as well as some of the few extra ones were left behind by the host. And you could go ahead and take these guys and delete them. So we have our new WordPress website on our staging. And now let's go ahead and also open up our main website here as well. So let's just go and click this. And so now we can make our changes and our edits to our website from our staging website. And after we are done making those changes, we could push them over to here. Let me show you how that works. Here we are on our main website here. And let's just come over here to our post. And you'll see that we have no post here except for our generic hello world post, all right? So that's on our main website. Let's go ahead and just close it. And let's come back to our staging website here. And now let's just go ahead and make a new post. 
I'm gonna make a new post. You could make changes to your pages. You can make changes to your menus and footers and, and do all kinds of different changes. You could update plugins. You could test new plugins. You could test new themes and so on and so forth all in your staging website. Nothing will show up on your main website until we push those changes. So let's just go ahead and make a change by adding a new post. Okay, and we're gonna call this staging websites are crucial. And we are just gonna go ahead and give it some content. Okay, we're just gonna give it some content and we're gonna publish. And we're just gonna go ahead and close this. So now we have two posts in our staging website. Now we could go ahead and just close our staging website for now and come back to our manage WP dashboard. So now we have a new post in our staging. So let's just go ahead and go to our backups for our staging website. And now that we want to back up this and send it into our other website, we need to pay for that as well. So let's just go ahead and activate our premium option as well. So that way we could clone and migrate this website. So we're gonna get charged. The total so far is 280. That is an awesome price. Okay, so let's just go ahead and close this. And it's gonna go ahead and create our first backup. And that backup will include our post that we just created. So I'll meet you here when our first backup is done. Okay, so we have our first backup of our staging website created. And now we could go ahead and go to clone our website. And now we are cloning our staging website. And in this case, we do not need to create a new backup because ours just happened. And we want to send it once again into an existing website in Manage WP. And that destination will be the parent website, which is yourdiviwebsite.com. We are not gonna create a new admin. And this time we are gonna make sure that we enable this as search engine visibility, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and clone it and select okay after we verify that we are going from staging to our main website. See you in a bit. Okay, and it says our website has been cloned successfully. Let's just go ahead and check out our new website. If we click on this guy, it sends us back to our regular main website. And let's just go ahead and log in and see our changes. So our changes should be that we ha should have now a new post in here. Okay, so we're in the dashboard of our main website. Let's come over to our post. And you'll see now we have our new post that is staging sites are crucial. And that is how easy it is to use Manage WP to transfer staging websites to your live websites and your live website to your staging domain and back and forth. It's also a great way to manage your plugins and themes and be on top of your website. If you handle one, two to 10 or multiple websites, it's a great tool and I do recommend you checking it out. And there you go. By now you should have your own staging website set up. Check out this video on my intro to manage WP when it's up. But until then, check out this video that YouTube thinks you'll like. In the meantime, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next one. Aloha.